okay, just to let you know that um, this gameplay that you see me in, this is the new safeguard mode, and it actually went on for four rounds as I'm recording. Four rounds of safeguard. I only meant to be two, but our team did that. We ended up with four rounds. Yeah, um, let's get on to the information. Okay, so we do have more news on the Nuketown pre order bonus for Black Ops 3. It is now official. If you pre order Black Ops 3, it may be PlayStation exclusive. The exclusive, I'm not quite sure yet, but it should be available if you pre-order it, it should come like a little sheet in your um, game and you get it, I'm not too sure yet. Um, but yeah, that's the latest information on Newtown. And apparently I'm going to have more of so a vitality. So get from the Black Ops, well, Black Ops Newtown, because this new movement system has got to fit in with the map. You can't just have like the first ever nuke town with this movement system it would probably just break the map entirely so they've got to change things so it could be the buildings have gotten higher you know or maybe the, the vans you can now jump on top of them or the um bus that might now be like a destroyed double decker bus you might be able to get onto it um there might be easter eggs i'm not quite sure yet right Maybe you get on the double decker bus and there's like a teddy bear where there's like pictures of the old new town before. Let's say the map got destroyed or whatever. I'm not too sure but I'll keep you updated on any more news on new town. Now on to more information about the Black Ops 3 beta for Xbox One. We do have more information on um Black Ops 3 about the maps, about the beta, um, the level cap, it has been increased on t up to 40 for the Xbox One and PC, so with this update we also get the new game mode safeguard which is what I'm playing currently and I think it's a pretty fun map, it's like you just fo everybody's focusing on one objective, the robot, right? And like the robot it's just sick and a little tip if you want to destroy the robot and take it out use a rocket launcher it will destroy the robot's um that health all the way to zero and it will need to reboot again and that means you've got more time to win the game and you've got more time to get killed get these objective get these kills just go all beef it, it's a fun game mode right, to be honest, I love it, and I can't wait for the actual game to come out so I can play this. And um, I've also played the new Stronghold map which is pretty cool I suppose, it's not the greatest but you know I've just got to get used to it, other people are allowed to get used to it. But um, with this new level increase, the Spectre, which I'll go into more detail about now, Spectre, new specimen which again I think is pretty cool um, I'll just get a picture of from him Spectre I believe I can't remember his abilities but again he's pretty cool unlocked at level 40 so you've got to reach that thing for them they recently released in the last update for level 34 Reaper and again a pretty cool thing he, he's got this special ability called Sight where he got to pull out like a mini machine gun turret or stuff crazy and a little ability as well he um, can split himself into multiple projections so like he could be getting killed but like people would be trying to kill his doubles and all that we also uh, now have access to the XR2 which let me have a look is unlocked at level 37 again looks like a bit like the bow 27 so it's a pretty cool gun looks amazing it's got a nice slim design um 
We also have the Guardian unlock and Wraith. I'm not too sure what the Wraith is yet, but we are now also available to unlock Ghost as a perk. So everybody's probably been complaining you can't get Ghost yet and um, you can't just play it normally. Like, I from people that uh, when they've got a UAV up, so that, that's probably very good for you know, it's not available, you just gotta try and get to that level, so that's all on the new level up, that's a new specter.